and panelists can you see my slide and can you hear me yes okay so good afternoon all our uh, myself dr santosh wadi widely from kokilavan dhirubai ambani hospital mumbai our study was correlation of functional eco parameters of right atrium and right ventricle with biochemical and invasive hemodynamic parameters and the utility of speckle tracking echocardiography to assess the outcomes after reverse portion in patients with idiopathic pulmonary atrial hypertension i can't change my slide you have to put your cursor on the powerpoint once go to the bottom bottom go to the bottom yes yeah. yeah. okay. okay sorry sorry so multiple studies have shown the mortality and morbidity benefit of reverse portion in patients with drug refractory pulmonary hypertension but mortality after portion ranges around 20% and it is a high risk procedure apart from patient related factors rv function which is the key factor in determining the outcomes after the portion so cardiac mri is considered a gold standard to assess the rv function but because of the logistic issues echo has been used uh, widely among the echo parameters strain parameters have shown to be superior to the conventional 2d parameters so strain is bas basically a deformation analysis which is the analysis of ventricular shape during the cardiac cycle and it can be calculated using tissue doppler and speckle tracking echocardiography however tissue doppler derived strain has a limitation like it requires offline processing has large variability in angle dependent so speckle tracking eco eco uh, eco uh, eco cardiography has advantages of angle independence reasonable reproducibility relatively user friendly software and can detect early subtle ventricular dysfunction although it has some limitations like uh, significant differences between different vendors it depends upon ventricular size and loading conditions and requires good image acquisition so speckle tracking is to calculate the rv strain on the left hand side and rs strain on the right hand side So ours was a prospective observational study done over a period of five years. We included patients with pulmonary hypertension on maximum doses of pulmonary vasodilators for at least six months prior to the procedure, and those who were in functional class four or deterioration in functional class. Those the patients uh, were not willing for the portion, and those with significant intra and extra cardiac shunts were excluded from the studies. Our aim was to correlate functional echo parameters of right atrium and right ventricle with the invasive hemodynamics and lab parameters, and utilizing these parameters to assess the portion uh, outcome outcomes after portion so echo was done on philips epic 7 machine prior to the portion and was analyzed with inbuilt program hemodynamic data was obtained by cardiac catheterization done within 24 hours of the echo by uh, bicrinkian marker we used is nt probe nt and all cause all cause mortality was primary end point statistical analysis was done with spss 20 software and we defined p value of less than 0.05 as statistical significant our study included 19 patients with 14 females median age was 10.5 years and median weight was around 25 kg there were 16 patients who underwent surgical portion with interposition graft and three patients underwent pds stenting so when we correlated uh, eco parameters with hemodynamic parameters we found that ra strain was correlated negatively with mean right atrial pressure and nt probe mp values so at higher values of ra strain both mean right atrial pressure and nt probe mp were lower rv global longitudinal strain and free wall strain correlated negatively with the cardiac index and positively with the nt probe mp values so at the lower values patient had a preserved cardiac index and uh, lower values of nt probe mp the median follow up period was 38 months ranging from 5 to 53 months there were five immediate post op deaths and three deaths during follow up survivors were followed in pulmonary hypertension clinic uh, group 1 Uh, patients who benefited from the portion and uh, group to includes expired patient there was no difference in the nt probe mp values between the two groups but eco parameters were significantly different between the two groups among the cap parameters mean ra pressure was significantly lower and cardiac index was significantly higher in the survival group compared to the other group other parameters like mean pa pressure pvr was not difference between the two groups so lower rv global longitudinal strain and free wall strain was associated with better cardiac output and good uh, outcomes after reverse portion and there was no overlap between the two groups similarly ra strain a higher value of ra strain and fractional area change was associated with better outcome after portion so cumulative survival was 85% at the end of one year and 76% at the end of 3 and 5 years in our cohort rv gls of less than equal to minus 10% free wall strain of less than minus 9% ra strain of more than 18% and rv fac of more than 17% were associated with better survival we correlated uh, uh, the pa pa 
parameters for the intra and inter observer uh, variability and we found that reproducibility was good with coefficient of variation less than equal to 14% receiver operating curves were plotted and we identified rv global longitudinal strain of less than equal to minus 10% and q was strain of less than equal to minus 9% predicted mortality with sensitivity of 83% and specificity of 90% for gls and 100% for the free wall strain so reverse portion is a high risk procedure with immediate mortality around 20% so we have to perform this procedure at the early sign of clinical echocardiographic and biochemical deterioration for the optimal outcomes in our study using speckle tracking echo we found that rv gls free wall strain and, and rs strain correlated with the invasive cardiac cath parameters and biochemical markers both of which have shown to predict the clinical outcomes Another index which we use for RV function assessment is the remodeling index, which is a dimensionless ratio of RV free wall length to the septal length measured at the end systole. So with the worsening of the RV function, RV free wall dilates and the remodeling index, index increases. So we found significantly lower value of remodeling index in the survival group compared to the other group. So what is known is pH related morbidity and mortality and efficacy of portion in patients with pulmonary hypertension. What our study adds is utility of eco parameters to predict the outcomes after portion. Although there are certain limitations to our study, it is single center study with limited duration of follow up and small sample size, along with the uh, limitations inherent to the strain. But we can still conclude portion is high risk procedure with good palliative option in drug refractory pulmonary apprehension and perform, should be performed at early sign of uh, deterioration. Pecker tracking eco uh, correlates well with the hemodynamic and biochemical parameters and can be useful to predict the survival benefit after portion. Thank you. Dr. Raghavan, you have to unmute.